Hey guys, before this video starts, I want to give a quick shout out to this server. The IP is play.craftedraids.net. Everything will be down below in the description. They got really cool things like custom plugins, custom maps, casinos, custom bosses, and really a lot of work has been put into the server. I suggest you all go check it out at the end of this video. If you guys do, let me know in the comment sections. And also, you guys may catch me on that server here and there. I'll be checking it out, playing along. If you guys are there, make sure to say hi. Other than that, enjoy today's video. Peace out. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead Survival Let's Play. This is episode 7 and as I mentioned in last episode, I will let you guys know about what is going on with the aftermath and give you guys some update info on that for uh, this episode. However, I am uh, having some issues getting into contact with Andrew, so I'm working my hardest to try to get um, some information for you guys. So just bear with me. Um, I'll see if I can get um, more information for you guys out for episode 8. All I know is that if you think about it, Aftermath just recently came out, and if there are bugs in it, just, you know, hold on and just um, kind of just be patient because they will get better and the issues you guys are having now will probably be fixed in the next few weeks. But I will give you guys a better update in episode 8. But without further ado, if you guys can all hit that like button right about now, that will be amazing. I appreciate all the support on the Crafting Dead. Um, and oh, there's a walker up there and I don't have any melee weapons because I stored them down here. And as you guys remember last episode, we made a tunnel. We kind of got that tunnel connected to the base. And I also mentioned um, that there will be a comment of the person who, you know, is going to get the correct, not the correct answer, what am I talking about? But the best comment that I thought about a building would be, um, down there would be a medical uh, facility. And someone left that comment, so I'm going to pop it up on the screen. Um, shout out to you, man. Uh, a lot of you guys left great comments and feedbacks about what that building should be down there that we just kind of opened up. Um, so that's going to be a medical facility, and pretty much what it's going to be is we're going to have our RBI cures, our uh, any medical supplies, it's going to be there. It's going to act like a hospital in any case. Um, and then over there, as you guys all know, it's going to be like the prison if any bad people show up. You know, it really that's not, not going to happen because this is not a server, it's just a single world. But we can just uh, make pretend for now, but I'm going to see what I can do about it. We'll figure it out. That was just meant to be a prison, just like the AMC Walking Dead TV series. And then this here is the home base. We have our farm down there, and we have another farm in the courtyard. So... And we have a tower. So a lot of things are, you know, progressing really well. So we're going to make do with our little underground tunnel here in today's episode. We're going to work with that. And we're going to make it a bomb shelter. So that was the second um, idea that some of you guys came up with. So uh, pop up with some comments up there for you guys. And we're going to go work on that. That's going to be today's episode um, uh, pretty much. So if you guys... Uh, want to leave some more comments down below I'm more than happy to read them get some ideas because again a bomb shelter is pretty much just gonna require food water and some weapons but I was thinking about it um, and I was thinking wouldn't a bomb shelter in a way need an emergency like you know kind of an emergency area just to get out just in case things go bad so we can't use the front doors but I'll show you guys what I mean about this so we're gonna go and start you know building it it's still not gonna be done in one episode but we'll get a lot of it done in today's episode and as we go through the tunnel, you can see we have the little structure here kind of in the makings. Now, this area right here, uh, I thought about it. Uh, pretty much a bunker, if you think about it, is underground, but it's also enclosed. And if we were just to keep it how it is right now, it doesn't really make much sense. So I thought about it. I said we should actually kind of enclose and make it look like a little dome of some sorts. Um, so that's why we have a lot of stone bricks. And pretty much it's going to connect to the top for everything. And, and inside, we're going to have chests. We're going to have anything that's needed to survive for a few days. If there's like a zombie, you know, they break into our uh, fortified place, then we have some area to go retreat, hold down for a few days, or even use an emergency like uh, escape path, which we can build in the next few episodes. So I think that would be really cool. I think you guys left an amazing amount of support on the last episode with ideas. So just seeing that was really awesome because it helped out a lot to make this final decision. Again, it's not always easy just to like come up with building ideas. So sometimes I think it's important to rely on the, the fan base as well because you guys have a lot of cool ideas as well. So let's see what do we got here. Some other areas to fill up. Every corner has to be filled up. And over here, I'm thinking we're going to leave this with a gate, uh, iron gate. I actually did this off screen thinking that it would be better than just having it with cobble. I think having some gate would be pretty cool because it kind of has a creepy look to it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but then again, if we really want to, we probably should close it off if there will ever be like a, a, a zombie. Um, break-in of some sorts so we'll see how that works out so I'll just close this up 
like so. And then we're gonna have, I believe, iron door. So let's go grab some iron, and we gotta get some wood. We're gonna have to work on our tree farm as well. So that's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna go and get ourselves some iron to make some iron doors. Now I don't know how many, uh, how many like irons I have. Let's see. Let's check it out. We got, I don't think we have much actually at all. We have one iron door, which is not bad, and then nine irons. Okay, perfect. So we can make ourselves another door. Bam. And now I believe we just need some buttons. So we just need some wood if we have some. Plenty of spruce. So we're going to use all of it actually because now we have our tree farm in the process. So we have just two buttons needed. Perfect. And, oh, we also need two buttons from the inside. So really one will do on each side, but I guess we'll do four just in case. I don't know why. Um, let's see, what other resources do we have in here? More spruce wood, okay. Uh, I don't think we need that much, but we're gonna keep it for design for the inside, of course. Uh, we also have to make some chests, I forgot about that. So, we will need a few, you know, pieces of wood here and there. So, let's actually convert a few more, and let's, um, take half of that. Let's make some of this into chests, because we will need some areas for chests, of course. Um, just so we can store our water, any food, just for emer emergencies, as always. And I think this is a really cool thing, because having a bunker like this kind of adds to a really unique factor. Um, and underground is really cool. Um, so let's see. Also, for the ceiling, I'm thinking of doing iron blocks, because that would just look really cool. And anyways, I think it would just have a really unique look to it. So that will take some time, of course. So that won't be done in today's episode, for sure, because we're going to have to go out and go get ourselves a lot of iron blocks. So let's put these on the side here. So that way we can go in, and then from this side, we'll put the two buttons, and it works just fine. So, it's a really basic look in today's episode um, for the bunker, but we're going to start off with the first thing I'm thinking is actually making the flooring stone brick, because we don't really need wood for flooring, right? I think that would only make sense. If we have wood for flooring, it doesn't really make a bunker feel fortified and strong, and, you know, I think if we make it a stronger stone like stone brick, which I think will look nice. But I think instead, because this is stone already, I want to have a border of just stone brick instead. Uh, just so we can give it some cool look to it. Um, I, I just like to have some designs in here as well. Uh, obviously, we're going to add ourselves some chests. We're going to get those chests in the process built up. We already have a few right now. And we're going to bring some supplies already, uh, which is going to be really cool. So I'm just building a design on the outside like this. Just because I don't think I have enough stone uh, brick to do the whole flooring. I think this will just be really efficient and it'll look good as well. Uh, so let's see, that should be fine, like that, perfect, and all the way around. Let's see what else. Also, uh, I need some ideas for um, what we should do. I know that next episode we're probably going to work on the tree farm and get that all settled up. Um, and then after that we may do some exploring. Um, let's see what else needs to be fixed around here. I think that there, bam, bam. Perfect, really symmetric as well. But I think next episode we're gonna go work on the farm, and then after that we're gonna go and explore a bit of the world and see what else we can do because uh, I have a lot of cool ideas and it's just gonna take time. Also, I do wanna show you guys something I worked on, which was the cow farm. But right now I just wanna go get some more water, get some more resources. I think we can actually convert more chests right now because I don't think that's a big deal. So let's drink up some water just in case we need a bit more. Perfect. And let's get ourselves some more wood. Um, uh, not really wood. Let's get some stone brick, actually, just for some designs, if anything. And then we do need to convert ourselves some more chests, because um, that way we can have our, ourselves a better fortified area uh, for storing any other things. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, the medical base, which we're going to work on, I think, after the tree farm or in next episodes. Obviously, these things are going to progress. It's going to take time. It won't be things that it's going to be like in one day, you know, getting this bunker done in one day. is going to be kind of difficult. But, um, we'll get pretty much the... Oh! Zombie spawned in here. Okay, there we go. Hey, what'd you drop? Look at that, an empty water canteen. Looks like he was a survivor of some sorts. Um, alright. Let's get working with the chest. Now, this is gonna be interesting because I wanna have, uh, a good design. So, for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put stone brick on the top. Um, just because I want to have that feeling that... Of the height when we add ourselves, um... What's it called? The, uh, iron blocks. So when we have our iron blocks on the ceiling, uh, we can replace it, but for now we'll just have to do with uh, cobble. Um, and that way I think it'll pretty much give the same effect, so we know our height, you know, that'll be pretty good. 
And then after that, we'll place down our chest. We'll get working on that. And it'll be pretty cool. I'm just really excited because one day, I know we're going to we're gonna have a zombie um, break-in of some sorts. And this place will be a perfect area just to, to run in, hold off for a few days, and kind of just uh, get ourselves back on our feet with whatever supplies we have. And then it'll just be a much better, um, you know, situation for us instead of just running from this prison of, or this prison cell block, whatever it is called. Because uh, this, if you guys don't know, this pretty much this base I'm working on is uh, from the AMC prison cell that they were working on or the prison, you know, base that they had um, to hold out from. So it's a lot of things happening all at once. A lot of inspirations come from The Walking Dead. Um, so it's really cool. And also, guys, for an intro, I'm still working on an intro. I don't really know exactly how it's going to look. Um, I kind of just want to go for something new. Um, I'm still having some issues with it because the last one turned out a bit too dark in my opinion as well. And it just wasn't really what I expected it to, to turn out. So I think on these two sides we'll have chests like this. So one there, one there. And then we'll have a few on this side. And I think that'll be really cool. And then in the middle we can't really put a chest. But um, yeah, I mean having chests on all sides will be really nice. Obviously, we don't want to keep it all stone. We're going to have to work up with some other designs. Uh, we can actually try and use some... Let's try this. Let's just try it to go for a little design here because we got to make it look somewhat decent. So if we put like some wood like that, that's not half bad at all. And the cool thing about it, that this is naturally made from generating the world. So a lot of this stuff under here is actually kind of symmetric. So I don't have to really do too much... Um, organizations here but this definitely helps out a lot so so far this is a big progress we need we definitely have enough torches in here um, what else can we do that we can make this kind of interesting let's go actually get some supplies just so we have some water some basic um, I did get some food here with me but I think it's important to get ourselves maybe a water canteen at a, a water source maybe not or at a little farm of some sorts I know it's not gonna be possible to grow much underground but um, it could be interesting. So we'll add some orange soda. Um, let's see. I think I saw iced tea. Okay. We would really... It would really be beneficial if we had ourselves like water bottles. But uh, it doesn't look like we have much right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Water bottles. Perfect. We'll go with two water bottles because we're obviously going to need some. Actually, we'll take three of them because we do have canteen. So I can see that it would be not a big deal to take as much as we can actually. Um, and then we'll take an MRE... Um, and another orange soda and some closed canned food as well because we don't want that to go bad. Uh, do I have a canned opener? I thought I had two. Oh, I do have two. Perfect. Um, and I could take some canned food and leave the open one for us right now currently because that will be fresh in a way. So let's actually eat our, Let's eat some... What is it? Canned tuna. Let's go for some canned tuna. There we go. Awesome. Um, and what else do we have in here? Uh, some more open food, some cereal... No, we're going to stick with the canned food, I guess. And then for weapons, uh, I guess we can take... Now, we don't have any ammo for these two guns here. But we could take one just to have it stored over there just for emergencies. And we'll take a bow staff. Um, looking at the ammo box here, not a good gun there. But ammo box, do I have it actually? Let's see, let's see. Oh, we do have ammo for it. Seven rounds, perfect. So, we actually have seven rounds for it. Bam, looking good, looking good. So this we're going to store inside um, the chests down there. We'll have an extra seven just for the gun we have out here. Um, anything else that we need possibly? Maybe a backpack of some sorts. Oh, more melee, melee weapons. Let's see, a bow staff. We'll stick what we got right now. Uh, tactical grip. We'll take a backpack for emergencies and we'll be good enough for just storing that place down. So this bunker is coming a long way. Obviously, I think we're going to tweak some things in future episodes. Obviously, if you guys have any ideas, let me know, and I'll work on them. But uh, it's a big turnaround, so this looks much better. And now it makes sense to have this little hallway here. I think it's much nicer, so it has a bit more purpose to it as well. So I think this side here, we're going to have our water bottles, any type of hydration source. So that's good right there. That's a lot, actually, but I think it's important. We don't know how many days we'll be down here for. Um, and over here, we'll put our food sources. So let's throw in the canned food. We only have two. I didn't, I don't know. Do I have more in the backpack of some sorts? Where's my backpack? I don't have a backpack on. That's weird. Um, I guess the update messed that stuff up. Whatever. Um, let's see. I guess we'll store a backpack in one of these chests here. This would be like more of the supplies to carry on us. And then weapons over here. I believe I can take out the ammo clip. Yeah, we can do that. Perfect. So we'll just store the ammo clip next to it, which looks better. Um, and a bow staff, we'll keep it here as well. Other than that, we'll keep an empty water canteen, just for emergencies, of course. 
and then a can opener, which I forgot to put in here as well. Bam. So everything is really coming, you know, to shape right now. We have our food. Oh, iced tea. We'll th throw the iced tea in here. Let's actually drink it because <laughs> we're actually kind of low on hydration. So we'll just take that there. Other than that, we have our water bottles there. We got a little bit of uh, supplies to take with us here, some weapons, and then some food. And that pretty much covers everything we need. Obviously, I think it would be pretty cool. Let's actually try that quickly. Let's see. We do have a bucket, I believe. I would like to have some wheat, maybe, like, you know, to make some bread if possible. Obviously, it's going to grow really slowly. Um, but an underground area just to keep some food growing would be pretty nice. Uh, we do have plenty of dirt. Do we have a hoe in here? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Probably not. Torches. Um... Where are the seeds? I think we have some seeds upstairs. Let's check it out. We got plenty of seeds there. Perfect. Um, anything else in here? I think there should... Oh, more seeds. That's what we needed. I don't think we have a hoe in here. We have to make one. Okay. I think we have enough. Yeah, there we go. So let's just make ourselves a stick. And we'll craft ourselves this pretty quickly. And now we just need... I guess I'm going to make a bucket just in case. I feel like I'm not going to have one. I don't want to go searching around. Oh, wait. We need a water source. We have to go outside. Is this another... That's a rotten pear. We don't need that. Uh, where is the quickest water source I can go to? Oh, that's near the farm. Right about here. There should be a water source that we can borrow from, I think. Yes? No? Yeah, there it is. Awesome. All right, cool. So let's get some right there. Perfect. Uh, anything here that we can take? No, no. Oh, yes. RBI Cure Bottle. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so this we're going to store when it comes time to store it inside our, um, uh, what's it called? The medical facility, which we're going to evolve and work on in the next few episodes. So that's going to be good. So that was awesome. That's a good luck right there. That's really good luck. Um, so let's store that in our medical area right here, RBI Cure, with another empty syringe. So we have two, um, oh, that's awesome. We have two syringes of RBI Cures. We have an empty blood bag, a dirty rag which is gonna have to be cleaned up later, you know, whenever we got a time for that. But let's go quickly get ourselves this little farm going. I think that way it'll kind of put everything into terms of what I wanted for this um, underground shelter. And I think I wanna have it in the middle. I don't know why, but I feel like I need it in the middle. Um, that way I think it'll look pretty cool. So let's see, is that gonna be even? Let's just put one more here. Oh, we're gonna have to make it by four, just thinking about it. Um, it's not going to be even now that I... Th I don't know. Let's see. Maybe we could just do this. And then in the middle, we can't have water. So we're just going to place down like this. We'll just do this. Um, we'll have water go... Just put the dirt on that side and water in the middle for now. And one more here, I guess. It's bothering me because it's not even, but uh, can't do much about it right now. We'll just kind of have to stick with what we got. And we're going to put these seeds down. And we got a little bit of food going. We'll put some torches near it, some light. Um, and this will be just enough to make... I guess one loaf of bread um yeah it's bothering me because it should be symmetric but it won't i mean we can always put it like in a corner here instead of the middle i don't know but i think that'll be good enough for us let's put some torches around on this side there perfect take the torches from the side and put it like around the edges here like that kind of keep everything organized and pretty much this has been the end of this today's episode if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys all hit that like button. I appreciate all the support. It really does mean a lot. If you guys want to see more, make sure you subscribe to get updated when the next episode will be uploaded. Other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. My name is Alex, and stay foxy, and peace out.